Hi guys, welcome to Maps case um, section 5. So one of the skills that you need to be aware of is the uh, equation for the gross primary productivity. So uh, the equation uh, it contains the net primary production and the respiratory losses. So we're going to provide the equation of NPP, which equals GPP minus R. So N stands for net, G stands for gross, and R stands for the respiratory. So there are uh, typical questions. So uh, could be the easy question to give the equation that links gross productivity and not net productivity. So what we've just said um, a second ago, we could obviously rearrange this equation in many different ways. We could do the gross productivity equals net productivity plus respiration, respiratory loss. Uh, another typical question, you could have here the graph that uh, shows you the information about the percentage of full sunlight reaching the ground. Then you've got the age of sand dune and you've got the question that tells you that scientists also investigated how the proportion of sunlight reaching the ground changed during succession. And some of the results the scientists obtain are shown in this figure too. So as we can see here, the uh, full percentage of the sunlight was for the for the beginning okay then uh, decreased and levels off so using the evidence from figure two uh, what can you conclude about the net primary productivity in the sand dunes that are older than thousand years so older than thousand years you're looking at the graph and you are here so it levels off okay so what we can then conclude using the equation it's the fact that the net primary productivity will remain constant so gross primary productivity must be constant same the respiration okay and the net primary productivity will be low because it, here obviously the sunlight the percentage of the sunlight it's around 20 so it's not going to be enough light for the photosynthesis. So obviously it will be less of the gross primary productivity. Another skill here, we got to explain why an increase in shoot biomass can be taken as a measurement of net primary productivity. So again, we're thinking what is the net primary productivity, which is gross minus the respiratory. But explain why, so using your uh, biological knowledge, we need to expand on this. So you always will get a mark for the equation, what we've just said, but what else we need to uh, include here is the fact that it represents by a dry mass. Okay, so net primary productivity in this situation will be our dry mass, which is gross minus respiratory. That's all. So remember, always putting equation in gives you marks. So one more question here. So we've got a graph and here you need to be uh, really careful. So you've got biomass on the uh, y axis, but also you've got the gross productivity on the y axis as well against the time. And you need to use this information in graph and your knowledge of net productivity to explain why biomass shows little increase after 100 years. OK, 100 years increase. So what? What, uh, what increase here? We've got the gross productivity, but boy, biomass will start uh, decreasing, okay, and shows only a little increase after 100 years. So, again, thinking about the equation, how can you then use the equation? So, again, net primary productivity equals gross minus respiratory. How this is going to then show only a little increase because OK, they could be decreased in the gross uh, productivity. So if you will have a, a lower number here, minus respiratory, the total net obviously then will decrease, will be little increase only. Or you could have increase in the respiratory, so taken away from that. OK, so it's just like a logical thinking around the equation. But look at the mark schemes. Always equations are giving you marks. So another skill quite uh, similar it's the net production of consumers which stands for n and this can be measured by i which is the chemical energy stored in ingested food taken away f which shows the chemical energy lost to the environment in feces and urine 
and taking away also the R, which stands for the respiratory losses. What we need to remember also is the fact that any biomass that they will ask you to, uh, to work out, uh, it, it got specific units. So kilojoule stands for the energy, uh, hectares for the era and year per time. Pay attention, you can't do those slashes, slashes like kj slash ha slash year. You need to do to power minus one, showing that this is per this specific unit. So in terms of the questions like this, you could have a diagram that shows you the um, ecosystem and look again gives you the units. The, uh, the only unit that change here is the area. OK, so then we had hectares. Now we've got meters squared and we've got here the producers. We've got uh, consumers, primary and secondary consumers and the process A and the box B, which is here, uh, waiting for the name of the uh, organisms. And you also need to calculate the percentage efficiency uh, with, with which light energy is transferred. So firstly, let's get with the names of the processes. So we've got the respiration here, because we remember that any loss to see that we're losing, okay, uh, energy which is lost for the respiration. B, okay, this is, uh, th those are decomposers, because anything that will be obviously, that will die out, will be then processed by decomposers and calculate the percentage, how we can do it. So we're starting with uh, with what we've got in the producers so that was 27402 divided by the total light energy which was absorbed multiply by 100 because they want the percentage which will give you 5.14 percent okay so remember efficiency it's what it's the produced by producers divided by the total of the energy that was absorbed another question here we, we got the uh, we got the month we got the temperature and the question is asking you and telling you that the net productivity of plants in the uh, field was higher in august than in Ju uh, in july okay but use the uh, equation in part b and your knowledge of photosynthesis and respiration to suggest why so when we've got august and we've got july okay so what we need to actually think about here obviously will be the respiration and photosynthesis photosynthesis like dependent uh, reaction uh, is less affected by temperature increase but the, uh, the, there must be uh, uh, so there will be lower energy loss in terms of the, uh, uh, the fact of uh, uh, photosynthesis but in terms of the respiration there has to be uh, taking place uh, lower okay so you could uh, talk about uh, you could converse this as well so you could say that the respiration will be faster but must specify the month so another skill here, you got to explain why the net primary production of an area does not represent the total amount of plant biomass formed per year by photosynthesis. So what we need to remember about the biomass, again, so it's, uh, it's nothing else then uh, we're going to lose the, res uh, the energy for the respiration. So providing equation, it's good enough. And the biomass, it's lost as carbon dioxide because this is what you're going to breathe out. Right. So another question here, you could uh, you could calculate the value of P. And they've told you that, um, mm, uh, you, firstly, sorry, you need to work out the uh, P as the equation. So what's missing here okay how can we work it out so we need to take away every loss that we've got here okay because uh, the, uh we need to complete the equation uh, for the energy use in the production of new tissues so anything that was taken away so c energy uh, consumed in food r which was the respiration u which was urine and f which was feces that's gone so what's left it's your p and then they asking you to work out the value of p so it's nothing else than 
following this equation, okay, taking 